Hey guys, welcome back to second video of non-realistic render. In this video, I'm going to create my own. So let's bring the same 3D model that I already used in the previous video. Drag it and press T, then F to frame it. And then let's use skin shade that is recommended by ZBrush, but I already did some tests with other materials and they look great but let's use this one i have add some different colors so maybe it will show better on the non-realistic render first thing that i've done i went to this some bluish background more desaturate and went to document and then I choose document background but I also bring down the range okay uh, next the first thing that we need to do I'm going to close this tool for now and I will go to material and drag it to the right I got used to work on the right side and then I'm going to go to modifier and I'm going to go to diffuse curve and I'm going to make it a bit squarish so let's see we can play a bit more with the shadow to have more shadow I'm looking mostly to the arm from the left. We can also play with ambient if we want. We diffuse. How strong do we want it? I want a bit strong the shadow. And then I'm going to go a bit to, let's close modifier, mixer, and play with the outline. I think that's pretty decent. Okay, next let's go to light and let's light it from the left top. Something like this and then also i'm going to go to render properties and check this flat shadow so let's make our first bpr render it may take a while but that's life <laughs> okay cool so now we can uh, stay with this uh, bpr render maybe we can go to shadow and let's bring back this one and do another test okay pretty interesting let's uh, open the floor and do another quick bpr now we can see some uh, shadow on the floor and next let's actually bring this one to the right sorry I um, wanted it to bring to the right. Let's close this one. And now I want to go to BPR filter. So basically, this F1, F3, etc., which means first filter, it's similar with Photoshop or Layers is Zebra. So this will be the first one, this will be the second one, etc. So to open up we need to press the left click to this small dot and you, as you can see it already added my nose filter if we press over here you will see that we have green hue gamma contrast etc you will need to play with everyone and see what they do for this one for the first one i want to choose the outline edge so this one and then i'm going to play around with this 
color edges maybe greenish uh, we can we can leave it like that I'm going to set it like soft or oh, let's play with overlay or soft light yeah I'm going to keep it soft light uh, you can also play with uh, outline edge as you wish Let's darken out this color, sorry. Let's leave it like this for now. I'm going to move to my next layer. So let's open up. And for this one, I'm going to choose my texture overlay so the cool thing is that we can bring up texture from exterior so just press over here you can use the one from zbrush but i have downloaded this gray plaster diffuse open and then i'm going to play i'm going to keep it overlay uh, or can be screen but i'm going to keep it overlay for now uh, I'm going to play with opacity because it's obviously too strong something like this and then I'm going to the the cool thing is that mm -hmm. if you're using this mask you can choose to apply it only to the the object or only only to the object or only to the background so right now it's only on the background or if I go here only onto the object so I'm going to set it to zero point zero point five. Also, you can play with the texture size. So let's bring up the opacity so you can see. We can bring it down, and we become more big, or we can have more texture. So let's go down to something like this and then let's bring down the opacity again also we can go to modifier and we can play with the orientation something like this and let's bring the shadow to minus and that's it for this one let's bring up my F3 next layer open up we can reset the filter and for this filter I'm going to add some orton so let's go to orton and then let's go to 60 something like this and I'm going to keep the screen and also I'm going to apply it more to the model Let's bring the shadow as I said you need to play it uh, as your wishes so for my next layer let's go to F4 you can see the it applied the Orton we can reset filter and then let's apply my favorite one it's this place so this is the cool one let's change the color to some reddish and maybe some something like this <laughs> i know i'm just playing around let's uh go up with this placement and then let's apply it to my model i'm going to change this from normal to average 
Where are you, average? Ah, there you go. Something like this. And then let's play with radius. Okay, pretty cool. Let's bring down the shadow. You can play with soft if you want. I'm going to keep it like this. So I think it's done for a display. Let's go to F5. And let's go and add an overpaint color. So now we have glow and I need to find overpaint color. This one. Let's set the blend mode to color. Okay. Now we can change the color to green and then maybe reddish a bit. And then we need to drag it down the overpaint, something like this. And now we can play with radius. And we can leave it like that. So we have it like some touches of paint. <laughs> We can also bring down the opacity to half and we have the background and the model is more colory. So that's it. This is my 3D model. Uh, you can go to render passes and export your render with passes and apply more uh, post-production in photoshop obviously if you want you can go to modify and play with all type of settings uh, everything you want to do so from now on it's up to you I think uh, you need to have a good idea what you want to do before you start working but before that just bring up one of your model and test this uh, filter and test all of this filter as you wish we can go and add sharpen we can go and add pff, let's see uh, intensity and also we can play with opacity you can add intensity only to your uh, model or to your background you got the idea so I hope you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next one take care